I'm here in front of the house of Leon Trotsky in Mexico City. We're unable to access the building because they're closed due to the coronavirus pandemic. It's on a very busy highway. Not so much going on. But that's okay, because we're not here on Trotsky's behalf. Indeed, we're here to see if we can find any clues about another internationalist communist revolutionary who spent some time in La Ciudad de Mexico. The one whose adherents these days are few and far between, and information on whom has been all but lost. A revolutionary whose time in Mexico City, despite being shorter than that of Trotsky's, was more impactful for the people of Mexico. I'm speaking, of course, of M.N. Roy, the Bengali anti-colonialist who was among one of the founders of the Mexican Communist Party in 1919. Join me as we see what we can find on M.N. Roy in Mexico City in 2021. So we're in Centro now, the central part of Mexico City where many of the government buildings and stuff are. I wanted to film us in the Constitutional Square where M.N. Roy was able to put together his first political rally. That's right, he did his first political rally right here in Mexico City, not in India. But it was packed, man. There's mad people, tons of people all over each other. There was, at least in some way, keeping the spirit alive, a very large uh, workers' party. I think it was Partido de Trabajadores rally over there. And people seemed pissed. That's always a good thing. That's what M.N. Roy would have wanted. Anyway, we're making our way towards Roma Norte, where his house used to be. We're walking through Alameda Centro, where you have to walk through if you want to get from Centro to Roma Norte. And we just decided to walk through here to escape the big crowds, even though it is packed here today. Take a look. But yeah, there's trees here, some shade, some beautiful fountains, creating nice breezes. It's a beautiful day here in Mexico City. We're in Parque Tolfa, second of our impromptu tour of the parks, and they're having a salsa dance off over here. A couple older folks seem to be having fun. I'm in the southern part of Parque Tolfa, and this part's less uh, it's less live, but it's more of a market. Many more market stalls here. <laughs> And we're back in the Doctores neighborhood, right across from where we were last night, in the Arena Mexico. The Cathedral of Lucha Libre, which you'll have already seen my previous film on. So what's this? Right on the same block, right next to the Arena Mexico? And that's right, our first clue of M.N. Roy. Some communist graffiti. Folks are keeping it alive here in Mexico City. We're in La Romita, getting close to Roma Norte, getting close to the Jardin Pushkin. This is definitely way more my vibe. Places like Centro in Mexico City and uh, in other cities that have important communist histories, much like Paris or Moscow. Unfortunately, you know, despite the fact that they have all the beautiful buildings, they've turned them into holy sites for capitalism. You, you see the fancy fashion brands and stuff all populating these magnificent, beautiful, historic buildings. But this one, this year, Naromita is way more my vibe. Not so many tourists, not so many high-end fashion shops, people hanging out in the shade. And now I'm here in the Pushkin Garden, Hardin Pushkin. It must mean we're getting close because uh, in Vladimir Leon's 2004 
documentary where he sets off on a similar quest to mine, he stops right here before searching for M.N. Roy's house. And behind me, we have the man himself, Alexander Pushkin. I can feel it. We're getting closer. We're passing by this, what well, seems to be a now shuttered disco. And this should be the block that M.N. Roy's house was on. On the right. All right, I think we're approaching it. One of the few old buildings left in this neighborhood. And there we go. A sign of M. N. Roy. Look at that. Well, there isn't much sign of life. There isn't any clue that the gentleman may have walked these streets. But I can only imagine what it was like when he would write and look out the terraces and have secret meetings with agents of the Soviet Union and President Karanta. Well, folks, there you have it. The House of M.N. Roy.